Guys, um, today's video is a bit different. I'm sorry if the audio sounds a lot weirder, but um, today is a video because I'm gonna take a while to post other stuff. I have six videos I have to do. We are going to find out my personality. So I'm probably not gonna talk through it, but you, you know, you can get to see who I am. You can pause to read what it is. So yeah. Hmm. It, I guess, it really depends. Yes, I do. Um, mm, I guess fair. Actually, yeah. Yes, all the time. I guess, yeah. Actually, they upset me a lot. I don't like people. I'd say about there, because I can get over it kind of quickly. Yeah. Um, there. No, I always worry if I make a good impression. It's not the only thing I worry about, but, you know, about there. No. I could spend the whole weekend with just myself and be perfectly okay. Yeah. Yes. Um... Yeah, I guess so, actually. Yep, all the time. <laughs> Mostly, that's why I'm going all the way with agree. Cause like sometimes I will be, you know, in the middle of stuff, but most of the time I'll be on the side. And if anybody wants to approach me, then they can approach me. But I'm not gonna be the one to do it myself, you know? No, actually, I can relate to a lot of people. It's weird, cause I can relate to a lot of people, but other people can't really relate to me. It's weird. Cause I do get anxiety. Like yes, I can stay calm. I just, I, my honesty, I'd make it there. My little crypt people. Um, no, I can't. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Well, cause sometimes my dreams are too normal. I, I literally had a dream last night. I was just scrolling through Instagram. That's it. Literally it. Not gonna talk about that. Um, yeah, but I do get sidetracked easily. Yep. Um, yeah, that is really me though. Oh no, I love when discussions get philosophical, it's more interesting that way, so it's not just. I don't know, it's way more interesting to me. Hmm. I try not to, but if I have to, I'd cry. It just really depends on who it is, you know? Um, I guess. I like both, but yeah. Yes, I listen to my heart. Like, when I don't know what to do, when I'm like, okay, my mind says this is the logical reason, my heart says this is the reason I would like the most. Actually, no, I would go a bit logical. I cannot imagine myself dedicating my life to the study of something. I don't know. So in the middle. Yep. I do. Be my only reason is because revenge, it's not all bad. It teaches people in the best way possible. 
giving them a taste of their own medicine. It teaches people what they've done in a personal experience where they can learn how it feels to that person. And sometimes you have to be the one to do that. No, I don't make decisions on a whim, no. I take time, <laughs> lots of time. Um, mm, right there. Yes, I do. Um, for the most part, I know exactly what I want, but there are still other options. But like right now, I know what my hopes and goals for for the future are. I don't know what exactly I want relationship wise or kids like that stuff but I know what my goals and dreams are and I'm already working with them so yeah it just takes time no I think about them all the time um yeah I lived in a hard time understanding other people. No, I can understand people's feelings like that. I read people like a book. Um, yeah. Because I can't trust other people to do as much as I know I would, you know? So it's like I gotta be in charge. Also, sorry, the AC turned on. So if the audio is kind of weird from now on, I'm so sorry about that. Yes, actually all the time. No, I don't. I'd love to, but no. Yes. Um, that's tough. Because I've always told like my friends that like, I understand that you want to help people and that's amazing. But if you can't help yourself, then how are you going to help others? That's like, being like a glass of lemonade, this is how I've described it to them, like a, you know, a pitcher of lemonade and you give it out to everybody. You can't keep giving more lemonade once you run out. You gotta take time and refill yourself. Refill yourself with positivity and other stuff like that. Sometimes I'll go the spiritual route, you know, you gotta align yourself back. You gotta start meditating to help align yourself a lot better before you can go out and provide more. So, honestly, in the middle, Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess. I do, actually. No, I dwell on them uh, a lot. Hmm. I do feel very drained with a lot of people. Um, mm, mm, yes, fair. It, yeah, yeah, I guess fair. Maybe seven percent done. Okay, almost done. Yep. Honestly, yeah, that's literally how I am. Like, you know, I'll do like, you know, a little bit of work a day, like maybe work on a song once a week, um, work on, you know, a couple pieces of art every day, but then once a month, I'm telling you, I do something huge. It's weird. You're most in, yep, they do. Oh, I can control it a little bit. A little bit. Yep. Yep. I do. And that's what I tell people a lot. Like, before you speak, it doesn't, like, be honest with yourself. How will what you're saying contri contribute to the conversation? As long as you know if it's positive or negative. Like, I mean, don't make it negative on purpose, but, like, as long as you know, that way you know what the possibilities could be. I still honor the commitments I've made, even if... Mm, that really depends. 
No, I feel insecure all the time. Just a moment. Hmm. I think like an INFJ. INFJA, INFJT. Okay. Well, I'm an advocate personality. So I'll scroll through the strengths and weaknesses just so you get to know me. Actually, no. I want you know my strengths and weaknesses. I'll scroll through workplace habits, you know? Y'all can see that. So if you've agreed with like 99% of the stuff I've picked, um, you're probably an INFJ T or an INFJ A. So that was the video. I hope that you enjoyed and I hope that this is still going. can't tell if my thing is still going or not. <laughs>